Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. I am Roshni from MATLAB Helper. This video is about Classification Learner app. This app is a part of the Statistics and Machine Learning Toolbox. We can import a training data set into this app and can analyze with various models to find out which model will produce the best accuracy for the given data set. This process is made easier with the help of the Classification Learner app. And now let us move into the video and see how this can be done. In the previous video, we saw what is a KNN model and also performed a classification task of classifying letters into J, M, and V. In this video, we will perform the same task but using the classification learner app and also we will find out which is the best model for the data set. Our first step will be to import the features.xlsx file into the workspace. There are three ways to do it. We can either click on it and select this import option or we can go to home, click on import data and select this features table and now select import. The other way will be to just drag and drop it here into the workspace. The features table contains three columns, the aspect ratio, duration and character. This is the same data that we had used in the previous video. Here the letter has to be classified into one of the three categories either as J, M or V. And this classification will happen based on the aspect ratio and duration of the letter. Now we need to go to the apps tab and click on the classification learner to open the app. We can also type classification learner in the command window to open it. This is how the app will look like when you open it. We need to click on the new session. Since the features table is in the workspace, this will automati automatically be selected. That the column that has the least number of unique values will be selected as the response. Here we have the character which is selected as the response. Response is a value that we are going to predict. So for each letter we are going to predict which character it is. So character is the response. And we will be predicting it based on the aspect ratio and duration of that letter. So these two will come under the predictors. The data set side is over. Now let us go to the validation side. The two types of validation available here are cross validation and holdout validation. For cross validation, we would need to select the number of folds. We can adjust it by moving the slider. The number of folds is the number of parts into which the training data set will be divided into. One of that part will be selected for validation randomly and the remaining parts will be used for training. If we select holdout validation, then we need to select the percentage held out by changing this slider. The held out percentage is the percentage of the training data set that will be holding out as the testing data set. If we select 26, then the remaining percentage will be the training data set and 26% will be the testing data set. This is usually recommended for large data sets. Here we have only very less features available that is very less training data set and hence I am not choosing either of the validations. I will go with no validation. Now we need to click the start session. A screen like this will be opened with the scatter plot initially displayed. The scatter plot of aspect ratio and duration is represented here. We can also change the x and y axes. This is the data representation of the original training set. 
here we have feature selections we have selected aspect ratio and duration and this is the list of all the models that are available if you know which model is going to be the best for your data set you can directly click that model and go for training but since I don't know which is the best model I will select on all and now we can click on train all the models will be now trained using the training data set and the accuracy is also displayed here a total of 24 models are now being tested on the data set the testing is over and now we got the highest accuracy of 99.2% for fine KNN and also for weighted KNN. So these two models have shown the best results during training. There are other options for plots here like the confusion matrix, ROC curve, parallel coordinates plot, minimum classification error plot. Scatter plot is a default one that is shown here. If we select this KNN fine KNN and now go to plots and plot the confusion matrix. Here we have the confusion matrix of the fine KNN model. We can see that 132 observations have been classified as J correctly. 2M classes have been wrongly classified as J and 1V class has been wrongly classified as J. 129M classes have been correctly classified as M and 130V classes also have been correctly classified as V. In a similar way you can you can select any plot that you would like to see. Our next step will be to export the two models that has the highest accuracy. Now click on the model, go to export. We have three export options. I'll click the last one. Here it shows export the current train model to a workspace variable named trained model. When we click on OK, we can see in the workspace that the trained model has been exported here. It also so shows that in order to predict the values we need to use this command trained model dot predict fcn of t where t is the testing data weighted knn also had an accuracy of 99.2 so we'll export that model also we need to click on it and again export it now it is exported in the name of trained model 1 we can see that has also been exported to the workspace this is the script to check the accuracy of the imported models. Our first step will be to import the data, that is the test data. We have 20 different letters in order to predict the accuracy. So each of these letters is classified into either J, V or M. If this is predicted correctly, that is if the predictions are equal to the character column in this table, then it means that they have predicted it correctly. So we'll read, use a read table command to get the test data and store it in a variable called test data. Now from the command window that is trained model dot predict FCN of test data is a command that is used here to find the predictions. We are writing char of in order to convert this into a character because we are comparing it with the character in the test data. So hence if we convert it, it will be easier for comparison. If predictions is equal to equal to test data dot character, then is correct will be 1, else it will be 0. The sum of is correct is calculated. So if 8 values are correct, then there will be 8 ones and the sum will be 8. 
So 8 divided by 20 into 100 will give the accuracy. Total number of correctly predicted values divided by total number of test data into 100 gives the accuracy. Here we are not using the CLC close and clear commands because if we use that command then the workspace variables trained models that we have exported will be erased. So we are not including those commands. Now let us test the accuracy of trained model. We will run this code. We see that the accuracy is 90%. In the previous video, we had used the simple KNN, KNN model and the accuracy was 80%. Now, by using the classification learner app, we see that it has increased to 90%. Let us test the second model that we had imported, that is weighted KNN also. So that was trained model 1. The accuracy is 85. It is still better than the previous video that where we had calculated the accuracy. But the best accuracy is given by fine KNN. So that is the best model for the, for the data set. Hence we can use the classification learner for any data set and find which is the best model in, without wasting much time. And also we will be able to get the maximum accuracy with the exported model. The model in the classification learner provides easy training and we can export it to the workspace directly and just use it in our code which makes it more easier to use. Thank you for watching this video. Do like this video if you found it helpful. If you have any queries post it in the comment section or get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future. MATLAB is our feature. Happy MATLABing!